Okay, so this is what it looks like before I pop it to the oven. All right, so this is lovely. This is a, a new um, amazing recipe for keto brownies. So like, how would you rate this recipe 10 out of 10? You don't need nap or coffee. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm actually now using my phone starting this vlog. I just got ready for the day, but it's uh, maybe 10.30, but I've done quite loads in the morning. And if you guys new around here, my name is Eva and this is my YouTube channel. And I would love if you hit the subscribe button, if fashion, beauty, lifestyle, motherhood, uh, clothes, life in London is your kind of thing. And if you like these sort of videos, and in today's video, um, I'm going to basically do a vlog, but with focus on what I eat as I'm currently on ketogenic diet. So that means high fat, higher protein, but lower than fat and really low sugar. I thought um, it would be quite useful for somebody that may want to start because I'm very new to this myself. So we just finished second week and it is working <laughs> and you can still eat really, really nice food and actually healthy food. So uh, today I'm basically going to introduce some of my favorite recipes and show you what I eat. So as I said, I would love if you hit the subscribe button and let's start the video. I'm just going to pick up some jewelry just to spice my simple outfit out. Let me get it. One second. Carrot. I'll try one of these. Take the carrot. I think Take the carrot. Take maybe the this carrot. one with the little heart. So I'm wearing a plain outfit today, just with like a Gucci belt, something I can run around and I can pop out because I need to run one errand. That's better. I love a bit of statement earring, so let's go downstairs. Right, first things first, I basically log on everything into the app called Carb Manager. Um, I've counted my macros differently. I don't know why this app just did it so weird, but I've, I kind of know roughly how much fat I should eat, how much protein and how much sugar. Obviously sugar is up to 20 grams and I plan my day ahead. So at the moment, uh, from what I planned, it shows um, I'm on 13 grams of sugar, 117, and that's probably roughly uh, what I should be eating of uh, fat and 66. That's a slightly lower of uh, protein. Now, um, I don't really don't eat a huge breakfast unless I want to treat myself. Uh, but one of my favorites is chia seed pudding made of coconut milk. I pretty much take just like 100 ml, and the way I do it, I use um, uh, coconut milk this one is actually reduced fat but i don't mind because some of the recipes are so high in fat that i always catch up uh, but it's up to you and then i use chia seeds for 100 ml i use probably two maybe three spoons of chia seed i think three spoons are around 15 grams so i kind of weigh everything but honestly in two weeks um, you really get your head around and you remember your favorites you know um, what contains sugar how much so you can roughly kind of get around so that's the first thing i'm gonna eat i'm gonna eat now because i've done already my workout and uh, start the day and because i finished already my batch i'm just gonna be basically make a new one and the longer it is actually soaking in the seeds the better so tomorrow i can have a new one obviously that's not the only breakfast i'm eating um, but we really like it and chia seeds also help you obviously with going to toilet uh, because some people um, uh, they just struggle on keto diet uh, we're actually both fine with my husband uh, but just thought i'm gonna mention it maybe it is because we eat the chia seed pudding um, almost daily sometimes for just a bit of flavor i drop in a little bit of vanilla you just have to be careful you count the sugars in uh, so probably one to two um, teaspoons and you let it settle and then it's basically it ends up looking like this so yummy my husband says it tastes like a holiday which is true the coconut flavor really really brings it up uh, I have already done some emails in the morning I've also prepared packages that I need to send stuff I sold on Depop uh, but I'm gonna catch up now whilst I'm eating and uh, drinking my vitamins and uh, just on more stuff that needs to be done and uh, that looks so delicious actually I'm excited to eat that and yeah Monday started really well you know I feel really good when I uh, start with a good workout and you know I have a bath or shower and do my hair and everything so it makes a huge difference so let's do that now
Also what I wanted to show you, I'm doing this online course on business of fashion. Um, I think I mentioned it before, you can basically get a trial period for one pound and I thought now in the lockdown it's a good time, although I am very slow just due to Liam and other um, basically stuff I need to do regarding my blog, house, uh, you know, <laughs> so much cooking. Um, so today I would like to get on with this learning activity. Uh, what I need to basically find out about each of these uh, famous stylists, where they're based, some editorial affiliations, uh, because there's going to be a part of the course later on where I will need this knowledge. So I've been postponing it, so that's really what I want to do today. And this is what I'm planning to make for lunch. I haven't done this yet, but I found this recipe. I've got some salmon. Uh, this is salmon asparagus. And I think I'm gonna swap it for green beans just because I have a lot of green beans. Uh, there's always a lot of butter. Uh, salmon has got a lot of healthy fats as well. So that's what I'm gonna make. I'm gonna kind of prep it now because Tyg actually had to go um, to the office uh, for work today unfortunately so um, I just want to make sure when he comes back uh, because he's not going to be there full day he's got something to eat because he's going to be starving I don't think he actually had breakfast so I'm going to prep it now and you're going to prep it with me it looks actually really yummy and these are the ingredients I'm actually going to be using for our lunch so we've got green beans this has been open so I would say maybe there's I don't know 300 grams we've got four pieces of salmon I've already counted I can only eat one and a half uh, but Tyg has got a bigger calorie limit, so he can eat the rest. I'm going to use, instead of three garlic gloves, four, because I'm going to put some on the beans, just the way I like it. There's probably around half of the butter, and salt, pepper, and some uh, ground garlic. Uh, it says onion powder, I don't have it, so I'm just going to use the garlic one. And then it probably takes maybe 15 minutes um, to roast it. So I can just pop it in the oven when tags come and it's a really quick, delicious, healthy lunch and very keto. And you put like slice of lemon on the top. So let's prepare that so we can have easier lunch when he arrives. like before I pop it to the oven but I'll wait for that um, I just popped it like I forgot to actually ask him when he's back silly me but I wanted to show you the prep and what we eat for lunch today Ding delivery yeah we'll open it honey wait very exciting delivery just came but this will probably be for another vlog uh, some cute things hopefully they will all fit so I can show you what's in there but today's vlog is about food <laughs> in today's video i also want to show you uh, an amazing recipe for keto brownies that have got great stats for keto there's one gram of sugar in one piece and 51 calories uh, and you get a lot of it so basically it lasts the whole week uh, for snacking if you feel like you want something with sugar it's got like a nice it's different than a normal brownie it's got like a coconut flavor to it because there's a coconut oil but it's super delicious and really easy to make so for the brownies we need one cup of almond flour quarter of a cup of cocoa powder one teaspoon of baking powder tiny little bit of salt and then I'm going to add three tablespoons of water, a quarter of a cup of coconut oil, which is melted. You can also use butter, but I kind of like the coconut flavor. Then we need two eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then we need 100% natural erythrol, um, 
that is used basically for uh, low sugar cooking. This has got like zero calories, zero sugar. Um, it's natural. So I, I put two cups, it says two to three, but it was honestly sweet enough with the two cups. So it's one and two. Now you mix it and then you pop it onto the baking paper uh, and stuck it in the oven for 20 minutes and you bake it for I think 180 for 20 minutes now it's gonna basically be liquided but the consistency then will change when you leave it out and it gets cold and then it's fine it's honestly very delicious and such a treat to have on a keto diet so let's start so then I transform the mixture into here and bake it. Honestly, this is like one of the best things I found in terms of the sugars because you can have like four brownies and only have like, I don't know, four grams of sugar. Whilst a lot of the cookies, they have got like six grams. That actually takes my sugar uh, allowance really, really, <laughs> you know, that restricts me on what else I can have. But this is very, you know, there's a lot of oil. There's a bit of almond flour. And it is delicious, so this is so far the best thing i found if you want to treat yourself and you fancy something sweet. I'll go in and let's wait 20 minutes. So I just took out the brownies. It is honestly very liquidy. I was first thinking, what is wrong? What is wrong with this? And then I realized I read the recipe wrong. I'm going to link all the recipes below because none of these are actually my original recipes. So you can guys properly look how to make these if you're interested. And tag just arrived. Good timing. So I'm going to pop in a salmon for maybe 15 minutes. Hey Google, can you set up alarm in 20 minutes? Done. Your alarm set for 11 All right, so this is lovely. This is a, a new um, cleanser from the Wasser range, which I absolutely love. But they also included these white chocolate with matcha and strawberry. We can't eat them now. Maybe Liam can have one but I'm really curious about this. So I'm gonna maybe hide one for when I can actually eat it, but they look so cool. This is very lovely. I absolutely love these. I finished all of them I had from previously. So this looks like a new launch. Okay, and this is ready. And Liam can have some, I'm making some chips for him so he can have a part of mine, which is plenty for him. Bike's gonna eat the last um, two brownies from the batch. So they're quite low. But honestly, it's so lovely. As, as I say, if, you, if you're if you on keto, you understand if you have sugar cravings and something sweet and like a treat, it, this is amazing. Like you basically get, I think, around 25 from that recipe. So it lasts the whole week and one has got 50, 51 calories. That's great. So I decided to just jump in the car and drop off the Hermes parcel. And Tag is mining Liam, so I have to do this quicker. I think it's better. I just don't like bringing Liam to places like that. So let's do that. So it's at a petrol station to drop it off. I may get a few bits actually, like bread for Liam and stuff. So I'll get that. Anything else? I feel like I've got everything because I've been shopping so much for food. Terrible. need anything else guys it's so hard I came unprepared so guys I've never done this it's actually this box and you just stuck it in so clever never done it in my life okay next that was so good uh, shall we do it again just scan the code that's amazing I love this in that rush I forgot to wear my gloves, so I need to use the disinfecting gel, but it's so clever, I'm impressed. It's probably not new to you, but it's new to me, guys. Let's go home. I actually fancy coffee because I'm very tired, so I either need nap or coffee. I prefer nap, <laughs> so let's see. But I think I could do when Liam goes, Liam goes to bed. Let's see. The, the thing is, like, I... I love when he is napping, just basically to use the time effectively. Uh, but then if you're really, really exhausted, like I didn't have a great night's sleep and he wakes up really early and you have got the, you know, we're in isolation, so I have nowhere to rush. I've got loads to do, like in terms of work and, you know, I could clean the house, I could sorting, but that's life, guys. 
Oh, I just parked and gonna go inside, but I just wanted to tell you one thing I've kind of noticed today. I feel it's getting busier. I think people are getting sick of staying at home. So they're kind of driving around and doing more errands, whatever that is. But definitely if I compare it with like two weeks, two, three weeks ago, like there were almost no cars, like people know around. I, and I just feel like it really is getting busier. So hopefully people won't be too naughty and uh, we can get just this done and be able to have a little bit more freedom. That would be so lovely. And I quickly thought I'm gonna show you my super easy outfit. I like to wear something exactly like this, something that looks okay, but it's comfortable. So I'm living in these baggy jeans. These ones are my blue ones. Um, and it's nice enough when you pop out. Um, so I just put on now when I ran out my Givenchy sunglasses. So I showed you the earrings earlier. I just spiced it up with Gucci Bell, which I don't wear too much. But I guess it will do for now. Just Isabel Moran sneakers. And this one that is just basically by the door if I need to pop out, like it fits a lot of stuff. So for example, like the parcels when I go to post office. So super easy, but I'm loving these t-shirts honestly so happy i bought them you also saw that in other vlogs so i've got the white version but obviously the black one for cooking is a safer option so that's my outfit so now i just basically take off the glasses the bag and the shoes and still look decent enough in the house so I'm on hold to arrange the collection for the broken sink. If you guys follow this, you know that it arrived broken. We got the replacement, but they were like, dispose uh, the original one. And I'm like, no, it's actually more hassle for us. So um, this is the sink, one second, and there's a courier, one second. Package, so I'm gonna get, have some goat cheese and some cucumber, and I'm gonna log on now to do that. Um, I think this will kick me off to exceed my calorie limit a little bit, but I don't mind a little bit as long as I'm still down on sugars. Cucumber has got sugar, so I need to log that as well. I love goat cheese so much. Yummy. Oh, I'm filming back on my phone just for a while until the camera will charge. I just shot uh, an image on Instagram uh, with like this Dior uh, I think it's Miss Dior, Rose and Roses. I'm not normally hugely into roses, but this one's gorgeous. Mm. I just put it on. It's almost like it reminds me something on something from my childhood. Or oh yeah, it reminds me a little bit, like some notes of this old school Dolce Gabbana perfume my mom used to love. Um, and it's just very nice, florally, very romantic. So I put the roses from downstairs just for the background. Obviously it would be so lovely with pink ones, but I don't have pink ones and I don't have peonies either, which I love normally. So I put on this dress, I'm gonna get changed again into my comfy clothes and I just had a little break. I may, I may actually make coffee. I've arranged the Wayfair pickup, so I've done quite loads. And I'm gonna now probably get on, I'll check emails again, and then I'm gonna get on with the course, just start the coursework, the learning activity that I need to do. I've been putting it on all the time. I'm just not into it. I'm like not a studying person. Sometimes I'm like, how did I get through English and American literature degree and sociology and masters? Um, but maybe that's why I'm actually like now like, oh, although if it is like, I like listening so i would like uh presentations workshops and stuff like that um i think i'm quite auditory when it comes to learning um and but reading and maybe making these tasks is a little bit more difficult for me uh i find it like more difficult to kind of stick to it and concentrate um so yeah i'm gonna tidy up i'm almost done get change and go downstairs so liam is not having it that i don't have a soup ready can you hear that? So I'm quickly making it and he's asking, is it ready? <laughs> oh, I feel so bad. But he's pushing me out. Oh my God. <laughs> 
So I'm cooking the soup. I just gave him biscuit to calm down. Um, it's not going to take long really, but um, obviously he wants things right away. And in the meantime, I was cooking the soup, I'm going to prepare our dinner. It's actually one of my favorites so far what we've tried keto. And I know I'm going to be making this even when I'm not on keto. It's basically mushroom, creamy chicken. And because you have the mushrooms, you kind of don't need a side. And it's super delicious. There's obviously cream and sour cream. So I'm going to show you how to do it. We have gorgeous sun coming in, so I've just prepped, um, I'm doing roughly 180-190 grams uh, for each of us. Um, so I have got like one chicken breast and then I cut it in half and then I use a little bit of hammer for the meat just to flatten it uh, so it can be easily fried. And then I just pop this on a bit of olive oil, obviously salt, pepper and fry it first. So that's the first step, so I'm going to do that now. So I've got two blocks of garlic which I'm going to crush and in the meantime while it's frying I'm just going to pop in the garden and get some herbs. So I use thyme and I use parsley. And the smell of this is just incredible. Love, love thyme. And then I have 200 grams of mushroom. I think the recipe said 250. Again, I'm gonna link it down below, but I have got 200 grams, which is fine. I'm gonna cut it into slices. And then I'm, I will need uh, a bit of a stock, which I just use the cube. Um, it would be obviously nicer to have a real one, but I don't have it. So I just use the cube for now. You put the chicken on side, you leave the same oil in the pan, you add the garlic and the herb. And then it smells amazing guys, I just love this dish. And then you add the mushrooms. I'm loving the sun coming in, so lovely. The smell is just divine, <laughs> I'm laughing at me. Just jumping on the trampoline. I love mushrooms so much. And it's a really, really good thing to eat on keto because they're low in calories, low in sugar. So I always do them in my grocery um, in my grocery shopping, and then I'll see what recipes we can have with mushrooms. And I added like half a cup of the stock. You can add a little bit more depending on how much sauce you want. That's Liam uh, soup steaming properly, and then you add. Um, maybe quarter of a cup of uh, sour cream and two spoons of heavy cream and that's it really and then you put the chicken back in and just let it bubble for a bit and it's honestly so so good I'm excited actually at dinner tonight <laughs> And this is it, I'm just gonna leave it like bubble on the lower heat maybe for five minutes. Uh, the flavors really mix well together and we can eat, yummy! Family dinner! Ty, how would you rate this recipe 10 out of 10? Okay. Yay! <laughs> And I thought I'm gonna finish the vlog here. Um, I actually did not do anything on the online course again and it's already after seven. I wanna spend some time with Liam who's messing here and obviously does not want to be quiet, although I'll ask him. Um, and I just wanna basically put on cozy clothes and later on I'm gonna watch Gangs of London on Now TV. Now tomorrow I'll be vlogging again because I'm gonna be first time donating blood. Um, one of my best friends just donates regularly and I think it's such a nice way to do. Now I'm not the best when it comes to like um, when they take like blood and um, so I need to prep I need to get organized I want to bring some keto friendly snacks maybe sparkling water and I know they give you stuff but it's normally very sugary stuff so I don't want to eat that and it's I think in the evening I think 7 20 so Tyg is going to drop me off because I, I don't know how I'm going to react so I don't want to be driving and I feel really weak or dizzy afterwards and uh, so I want to make sure I'm prepared and I've got somebody Bye. to pick me up so I'm going to be vlogging that, so make sure guys you hit the subscribe button. I'm going to show you tomorrow uh, the new dresses that arrived 
and just vlog another quiet day in my life in isolation. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!